What's growing on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you two foolproof ways to grow summer squash like zucchini, including a method that you may have never considered before. The most common way to grow summer squash like zucchini is to allow it to sprawl on the ground. If you've grown zucchini and other summer squash plants, you know that they are highly susceptible to the vine borer, which will bore into the vines, eat the guts out, and then the plant will go into decline and die. This zucchini plant that you see right here was planted in early April, so it is almost four months months old, and despite numerous vine borer attacks, it has survived. That's because I've allowed this vine to sprawl along the ground where it will continue to root along the vine. If your zucchini plant was to get bored into right here, which would cut off the plant from its roots, that's okay because the plant has also rooted right there. So because it has rooting in multiple areas, if one of those areas get cut off, that will protect the zucchini plant. So because of that, this is one of the most effective way to keep zucchini plants producing. And this very old plant is still producing a little bit of fruit, although it is starting to get tired. The second way that I'm going to show you is how I'm growing it in my shade tunnel right here. And that way is vertically. Most people don't know that you can grow zucchini and other summer squashes vertically up a string in greenhouse culture like I am right here. Here you can see two different summer squash plants, a Castata Romanesco zucchini on the left and a Blue Hubbard squash on the right. Both of them are being trellised up this string. This initial zucchini plant was planted back in the very beginning of April. It has developed a very long vine, which I removed all the old diseased leaves. And you can see it is still growing up and up the vine and it is looking very good. And it's putting on new baby zucchini right here. These are all uh, female zucchini flowers that as long as they become pollinated will turn into new zucchini fruits. And you can see how healthy this four month old plant is. I've showed you how to do this trellising method numerous times before. I have a piece of airplane cable that runs up top and then they attach to these double tomato hooks and then they have twine attached to them which you then clip on with uh, plastic tomato clips right here. And I'll link to all these items in the video description if you're interested. The downside to this vertical trellising method is it will expose the vine to vine borers because you are only planting the roots down in the soil. So if you get any vine borer damage, it will unfortunately kill the plant. However, I've been very successful growing it in this greenhouse culture with this shade cloth over top. It has not allowed any of the vine borers in, but because I planted these zucchini plants right at the edge of the structure, it has been successful at letting bees in and they have been pollinating. If you're not going to let bees in, you will have to hand pollinate by breaking off the male flowers and then rubbing them inside the female flowers or taking a mascara brush or a q-tip and then transferring the pollen manually to the female flowers. And that right there are two ways that you can grow summer squash like zucchini. If you don't have enough room in your garden to let the vines sprawl all over the ground, consider the little known vertical string trellising method. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.